Wentz will try again on second down. This one complete left side to Green Beckham. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Give him three on the play, and they're going to have a third down. Time here to show you the starters while we have a moment defensively for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I know one guy you like from Miami, Artie Burns. Just jumps off the screen when you plug in his college tape in terms of athleticism. And I also watched him play with some intelligence. Saw him at one point jump into the slot and pattern read and come off of his receiver to the intended one and intercept a pass. I like him. Shreds the tackle. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. It'll be a gain of five, and the punt team will now come out on fourth down. You know what, Nick? Punt team ain't coming up. And the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. Let's go! Three and 19! Three and 19! Halfback sent in motion. They do go for it. It's wins. A dump off to Sproles. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. I know they got the first down, but Brandon, I still don't like the call going for it there. Yeah, yeah they got it. But I would have punted the ball there, played some field position. I mean, it's okay to end drives and kicks, right? You know, the, we've heard that from different guys before. Remember, it kicks either a punt, right? Field goal, or a point after touchdown. It's okay to end it in a kick. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield, but that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. Throwing now is wins. Now they go screen. It's complete. Oh, man. Ten the fuck? <laughs> good one. Good one, good one, good one. Kenyon Barter, 57 yards. And the Eagles have taken the early lead. Well, he's used to running at that distance. Here he had to catch it too before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who is a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw. Hey, I'm going to let my son play after this one, Nev. I'm going to go practice my piano playing. If you want later on tonight, I'll hook up with you later on tonight, though. This is taken at the three. And he'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Defenders hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running. Oh no, yo, really, yo? Man, shit. Set up shop at their own 49-yard line. They told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You gonna let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. Wentz gonna throw. And Salak here, left side. The completion good for three and it's second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. 
Now Wentz throwing on second down. And Matthews has a side. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jordan Matthews. Why didn't meet my man stop running, yo? But that's cool, man. That's some bullshit. Oh, yeah. And good 15 to nothing here in the first quarter. the touchdown it's Sturgis now I got to do away. shit the hallway this field at the two and not a bad return here he gets it out to the 25 yard line the Steelers offense now they head back onto the field and following the interception we'll see what they can put together on this drive I can hear my old college coach right now he always used to tell us before every game the team making the fewest mistakes will win what they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Green, the tight end, in motion. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And Bryant's got it over the middle. That throw good for four. It's second down. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Now Roethlisberger to throw on second. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Benny Logan busting throw to get him for a loss of six. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. <sighs> and they'll be in search of 11 yards here on third down. They'll come out in the pistol. On third down, Roethlisberger. The fuck? The throw, but incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. Now, well, let's see. Yeah, the offense still out there. They elect to go on fourth and 11. Green, the tight end, in motion. So the D-line's going to spread out. Here we go on fourth down with Roethlisberger. He's gonna, he's got a man complete. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Martavis Bryant, 76 yards. And the Steelers have now made this a one-score game. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. well now to kick it away after the touchdown and that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback Philadelphia getting sent to take the field and they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown and confidence is powerful isn't it when you score once you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again doesn't matter what the defense throws at them they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. And complete to Zach Ertz. Give him 16 on the pickup, and it'll be a Philadelphia first down. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And he swallowed that right into the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And when you're running the football, one thing you don't want to see is a big boy coming up there and swallow you whole in those D-tackles and nose tackles. No, you're actually counting on your big boys to protect you from them. But on that play, the defensive tackle had the leverage, and he won the battle. No gain, correct? No gain. Wide open oh my god. Jordan Matthews. 
Matthews all by himself. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Oh. Jordan Matthews <laughs> with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. And the Eagles had six to the <laughs> Point after now from Stop Sturgis. cheating though, you, you fucking me up. It's good and it is now 21 to 7. Now after the touchdown, it's Sturgis to send it away. This fielded at the two. Turn here, he gets it out to the 25 yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the deep. And that's caught inside the 30. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Davis Bryant with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Steelers get the quick strike touchdown. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the inline. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last let's time go. on offense, yeah, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. I love it. Let's see if they dial it up this drive. Now it's Sproles, and he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Stephon Tua came out of Notre Dame as another one of those really tall defensive ends, and you just wonder, would they be able to have the leverage to bend and make plays? I think he just gave us an answer with that tackle. The Steelers insert their nickel defense on third down. Yeah, they had a DB. on third down. Looking to hit Matthews, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Ryan Shazier. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook, one play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Malcolm Jenkins up to make the stop. In today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run, probing now early to try and get things done later. Back with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's Steeler football to begin quarter number two. They're staring up at a third and nine to start it out. They come up with one running back. That's Bell. Here's Roethlisberger. He's got his man here. It's green. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence. And that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Okay. 
Now it's Roethlisberger. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. <laughs> Jesse James, a five-yard touchdown. And the Steelers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. On the return, it's Kenyon Barner. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. yardage on the play back at the 37 yard line it's a loss of a yard there and now second down and frankly Brandon we're talking about things I'm not sure we ever thought we'd talk about in the NFL and a lot of that is the speed at the linebacker position a lot of these guys in college they were safeties they moved them up to outside linebacker to combat the spread offenses and now we're seeing it in the NFL those same guys using their speed to make plays in the backfield similar to that one Two plays in a row, the defense won, stacking up the running game. They've got to feel good about themselves, but something has to be in the back of their minds. Are we being set up for something big? They've got to be careful. On third and long, it's Wentz. Looking deep downfield. It's caught. Fuck, yo! It's a big play there for the Eagles. <sighs> Yards. I know they had good coverage downfield, but you have to wonder on third and long like that, how does that happen that they can get that far downfield and complete a pass? You got to guard the sticks, understand where you are, so it's almost like someone fell asleep at the switch. And now that the play's been completed, they've got to dust themselves off on defense, pick it up, and figure out how to not let that happen again. And he motions the wide receiver. Sproles. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert? and fire out and create some space in the run game. Ship together here from the D-line. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Zach Ertz, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Oh, he missed the PAT. No good on the extra point, so a lead down there. And this will stay a six-point ball game. Now, after the touchdown, it's Sturgis to send it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offense coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan. And Thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Again, we'll see the pistol here. They come up with one running back. That's Bell. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Seven yards on the play, and it's a second down. 
All right, I'm going to show my age here a little bit. We used to talk about running backs catching the ball as safety valves. Nowadays, they're a big part of the passing offense. Quit acting like you're so old. You're only 65. <laughs> and the hit jarred it loose. Yo. It's incomplete. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested, and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. Spot, find the dead zone and find the first down, and that's what he just did. Possible run anticipation here as the D line sandwiches together over the middle here to Brown. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. So, two minutes to go in a wild first half. Back to Heinz Field after this. Another pistol look here. Four down. Two, two. Fifty. On second down, it's Bell. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Give the tackle that time to Rodney McLeod. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. And it looks like we've got a down game. James has it. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for the first down. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. A gain of three, second down. And the Eagles are going to go ahead and take another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Seven yards to go on second down. They come up with one running back. That's Bell. On second down, Roethlisberger looking for the end zone. He's got his tight end. That's James. Touchdown, Steelers. Jesse James with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Steelers are an extra point away from taking the lead. Oh, my goodness, yo. Oh, whew. <sighs> Well now to kick it away after the touchdown. Now it's Barner. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21 yard line. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. And they're going to go soft on the corners. They go play action here on first down. Try to lay one up deep. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. Once again here on second and ten. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Anytime the ball's thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air. I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Now win. 
offense on third down. Goes underneath for Sproles. And down he'll go at the 25. And the Steelers signal for another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. Here we go on fourth down with Wentz. And it is incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Steelers, they're going to take over an excellent field position. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And that last drive, a long drive. But not just that. They had a great <laughs> air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Call it a gain of five, and it'll make it a second down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. A fake to Bell. Now it's Roethlisberger. And this is incomplete. <clears throat> they had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. From the gun on third down, it's Roethlisberger. Mm. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure... If something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk is a big decision here. Trey Burton, the one he was looking for. And now it's second down. Normally, he's pretty reliable. Usually, catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They come out here in the eye. Now they'll run it on the toss. Room here to run. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. I thought guys that were over 30 weren't supposed to run the football this well in the National Football League. How about that veteran leadership? A big-time run combined with some nice blocking by his offensive line. Showing that the ins and outs of being a veteran still has his place in this league. He's, on the He's got it. Hit the Come on, Joe. That's some bullshit. <laughs> in the final seconds of the first half. And once again, the Eagles. <laughs> you can't even see my coach, yo. <laughs> coach, like, what the fuck? The dramatic here, don't they? Scoring this late in the half to take the lead going into the locker room. Now they just don't want to misstep misfortune on the next kickoff because there's still a little bit of time left on that clock. Yeah, you do have to bring that up, don't you? In the NFL, every play is critical. And if you give up something cheap there, all that advantage they just gained goes right out the window. Wentz going to look to throw. That's caught. And he is in the end zone. So they get two more on the board here just before halftime. <laughs> now after the touchdown, it's Sturgis to send it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Steelers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. They go back to the air here after the INT. He's going to float this one deep right side. And incomplete on the deep ball. 
We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They, overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Throwing now. Rothlin oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. First possession of the oh. third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Now Wentz throwing on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. Wentz to throw. Oh my god, yo, that was supposed to be picked, yo. The fuck? That throw has to be a quarterback's dream, doesn't it? Big tight end, curling in the middle of the field, so it's great sight lines for him. And when they show their numbers back to the quarterback, when they sit down right there, that should be pitch and catch. It would be a very makeable field goal try from here, but instead they're going to go for it. Here we go now. They'll go for it. It's Wentz. And he can't hang on. That would have been a big interception down here in field goal range. But instead, now they'll get a shot at three. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. And last time, one play interception, so this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling, because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. For the catch right side. To give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Looked like the screen pass was taken away there, but what a nice job improvising, finding other options, and completing the pass anyway. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. Throw left side is complete to Rodgers. Give him nine there on the first down completion. On the outside, they're playing press coverage. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, after watching him ring the bell that many times and putting the ball in the end zone, throwing it, he had to figure they had to bring some type of pressure. They had to change things up on defense. And able to get to him, put him on the ground, so maybe just something to throw him off a little bit. Yeah, that had to feel a lot better for the defensive guys. They've been getting carved up in this one. To finally knock him on the ground and force an incompletion, that's got to be a sigh of relief.
On third and one, it's Roethlisberger. And he's got Rodgers. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Looked like the screen pass was taken away there, and that was a nice job of improvising, but it's not normal. Usually when the screen pass is taken away, you're taught to just throw the ball at the ground at the feet of the receiver so that you don't get it intercepted and just start over. But he ended up finding another receiver. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. He's going to look deep down the field. Fuck. time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by the veteran, Leonis McKelvin. And out now come the Eagles. Good D, yo. Shit. They were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. Decent chunk of yardage still left here. Second and seven. All right, here we go. On second down, here's Wentz. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. My good friend, I'm just going to pose the question to you. Did that look like a pass that he should have thrown? Now, the rookie probably needs to be a little bit more careful in these situations. Yeah, that thrower turned him into a veteran quicker but not in the way that he wants. He wants to learn his lessons by making good throws, not throws like that. Now Wentz on third down. And able to complete it to Green Beckham. The 13 yards that time at a first. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, He's got the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Ten yards on the pick up there. And it'll be first down Eagles. Well, how many times do we say in this game that speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case... You got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll make it second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he is going to lose yardage here. He lost two there, and it's third down. Yeah, let me pump out my chest a little bit, even though I'm not rooting for either team. That was a really nice defensive play. That's awfully fun to watch, even in an offensive game. An extra defensive back in the game now, here for third and four. And the back goes into motion. Now Wentz on the bootleg, finding his safety valve here. That's complete. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first, thanks to a flashy little spin move. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. Do you know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> yeah, that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Yeah, everyone dialed in. Wentz to throw on second down. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's brought down. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. From the red 
zone now. Wentz. Screen pass to Sproles. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. Long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. Again, we'll see the pistol here. All right, here we go. Back. Now Wentz throwing on second down. That is caught at the seven-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. They come out here in the eye. Now they'll empty out the backfield. Back there in that belly. Here we go. Wentz. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, Tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position and they want to get into someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. And this seemingly endless drive continues. Here we go now. Leopard, Leopard. Ah. To throw his wins. And look at this. They get the look at the big man rumble. Picked off by Bud Dupree. He's at the 40, <laughs> 20, 5, and brings this one back. It's a pick six. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. And this will be a touchback <laughs> as that sails over the end line. And now the Eagles offense back oh, to the field. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. but they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. 15 yards through the air on a first down. No matter how you evaluate quarterbacks, at some point, arm strength is going to come into the conversation. I'm really impressed by what I saw on that throw on the out route. All right, here we go. Boom. And he'll give it here to his running back. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Big boys down there in the trenches and a nice play to stop them cold. Nothing there. Yeah, when you talk about big boys, you're talking about those defensive tackles, those nose tackles. They're not just big, they're immense. <laughs> and what a big time play there. So second and 10 here. Hurry up, here we go. Throwing his wins. Green Beckham has it over the middle. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Eight yards in the completion, but now they face third down. And a pretty simple completion there underneath, but a successful one for the offense. Partner doesn't have to be the big shots downfield all the time. Having that safety net underneath is a great thing for a quarterback. Throwing now is Wentz. And able to complete it to Green Beckham. 
Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? You no, know, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for them, too. They come out with one back and three tight ends. And he goes in motion here in the backfield. Wentz now on first down. And bringing it in, this is Selleck over the middle. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Well, he flew past 200, 300, 400 yards. Now he's over 450 yards passing on the day. So what you're saying is oxygen for everyone catching the ball and trying to defend? Yeah, especially those guys trying to defend right now. No doubt. They've got to be a confused group because they haven't been able to defend him very well at all. And I think he just wants to keep firing. When you have that kind of a day, you're just locked in. Just keep calling those pass plays. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. But you know that old expression, it's not my night? It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Second down, here's Wentz. And this is Selleck here with a grab. Now the Steelers put a stop to the action with a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Damn, Neb. I gotta pee. I ain't done yet. I'm almost done. Got a minute left. No, a minute left. A minute left. I'm using the bathroom, man. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. And Wentz not going to take the snap here. Instead, he turns and calls a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Let's go. Green, 39. Wins to throw. 
And he can't hang on to it. <clears throat> Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead, it just brings up fourth down. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. They come out here in the eye. Wentz to throw for it on four. And that is incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. Now the Steelers offense gets ready to get back onto the field. And in enemy territory last time through the interception. We'll see what they do on this drive. Can't wait to see how it alters what they decide to do in play calling. Do they continue to throw the ball? Do they want to lean more on the running game? It'll be an interesting sequence of plays that they've got coming up. Does it often affect the play calling with the interception? How much does that change what you do? I think it does depending on why the interception was thrown. Sometimes it's just a matter of the defense made a great play, so you continue to come back. But if it's on you, if the offense just doesn't have the confidence, if they're a little bit shaky, maybe try and take the pressure off and run the ball a little bit. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They come up with one running back. That's Bell. Here's Roethlisberger. That is incomplete. And you really can't pin that one on the quarterback, Charles. The O-line, they've got to protect them. And they know it. That's their meal ticket. They want to take care of the big guy behind them. In this case, they let him down. So still a full 10 yards to go here for the offense on third down. Here's Roethlisberger. He completes it to Bryant. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to us? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, mm. and they keep making mm. the connection. He's going to wind up and air it out. Fuck! He's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. <laughs> the Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Going deep here. For and this Whew. is going to be intercepted. Picked off. Whew. Thank you, yo. Justin Gilbert. And they have possession. Thank you, oh boy. to win it in regulation from the 40 it's a 57 yard field goal so that gives you a gauge and all they're trying to do now is pick up yardage in good chunks and get out of bounds to stop the clock if they end up running a play and get tackled in bounds they're worried the clock may run out on them and finish the game and they'll have to be careful how they handle this throwing now is Roethlisberger on the right side caught by Green and he'll be out of bounds able to take it down to the 40 and passing yardage wise now up over 350 in this game pretty nice performance definitely that which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover if you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you you've had a long day the key to everything if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over mm -hmm. oh the ball comes out on the hit but they'll say it's incomplete Connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Now it's Roethlisberger. James has got it. Complete. And 
and he's going to get this inside the 30. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So just about a minute to go here, tie ball game. As fans, we love free football, but the guys in the field don't. They're going to attack and go for the win right now. necessary and dropped it before it could haul it in. And the back goes into motion. Now wins. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he's brought down after a good game. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Pick that you seconds, 19 left. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. To throw his wins. And this is going to be intercepted. Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They can still get into field goal range, partner. They got to work quickly, though. I agree with you totally. Find a way to get the ball downfield and out of bounds. In a perfect world, they know what hash they want to get to for their kicker, and they already know the distance that he feels comfortable. That'll dictate what they do on offense. See if they can get in his range. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. He's got time in the pocket. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Defense has set themselves up nicely. Third and ten now. Here's Roethlisberger. Finding time. He's going to let this one go. And did he catch it? He did. Epic game, son. Epic. The fourth quarter has belonged to them, and now the lead belongs to them as well. That was a fun game to witness, partner. A touchdown there at the very end to win this thing. And that's really where the emphasis is, right? The touchdown to win it. I know that they put a little on top, right? What's your favorite dessert? You know. 